Hello everybody, Kwip here, and welcome to a bit of a venting session, because I'm going to be talking about why my enjoyment of Destiny 2 has lessened as of late, and why the Crucible just isn't as rewarding for me or fun. And the core issue is something that isn't that new, it's something that's persisted for a while, and is even more of an issue with the people that actually play this game compared to the game itself. And I think the problems that I'll be talking about will be relatable for just about all players. Maybe a couple of the issues will just be for high skill players, but a lot of what I'll talk about will be relevant to just about every player that goes into the Crucible. So let's talk about what some of these problems are. Well, one of them is that I don't really feel like I have anywhere I can go to have fun in the Crucible. To not try my ass off and just try to have fun. And I watched a True Vanguard video recently where he was talking about a very similar issue. In fact, I think he said it was the largest issue in PvP right now. And this is based off of how the playlists are set up. All of the playlists in the game are skill-based matchmaking right now except for one, which is the classic mix. And this is largely connection-based. The problem is that most of the people that actually know about this playlist and decide to go into this playlist are old players, players that have been playing the game for a long time because they actually understand the distinction between it and the other playlist. They know it's going to be connection based, which is what is desirable to a lot of people, including myself. And I'll explain kind of why I think that connection base is better than skill base in most situations, especially for Destiny, a little bit later on in the video. But what happens is that you have this one playlist that is available to actually have connection-based matchmaking, so it should, in theory, be the least sweaty and the most conducive for trying to have a good time, and it should be generally more casual. But because so many veteran players know about the playlist, and maybe the newer players aren't really aware of it, it's kind of tucked off into the corner, and maybe they don't understand the distinctions between skill-based and connection-based, they don't go into it as much. So what you get are a lot of veteran players that are using extremely powerful weapons on a very consistent basis. And this is where that statement that I think I have more problems with the people that play this game than the game itself comes to play. Because as a veteran player, someone who plays this game a lot, I don't understand why they're using Not Forgotten, Dust Rock Blues, and Ward Glyph Coil for over 14 months in a row. Because that's what it feels like, that's been meta for over 14 months now, since Forsaken dropped. And some people just never put the loadout away, they only use the best things in the game and that's the only way they play. And a lot of people will say that that's okay, that's how they have fun, but I honestly don't think this is how people have fun. I don't think it is a very fun play style. And when I try that hard, I don't find it enjoyable, and I feel like most people probably don't either. I think they're more so just pigeonholed into using tryhard things because they feel like they have to, because that's what everyone else is using. No one is taking the game casually and everyone is trying to use the best things. So when you are actually deciding to try out something new and doing something kind of off the beaten path, you get punished pretty hard if you are not a very skilled player. And even if you are a skilled player, if you're going up against all Not Forgotten's and Dust Rocks, then you're probably going to be punished as well. And I play this game a lot, and I mostly spend my time in the Classic Mix playlist, which, like I said, is supposed to be kind of the most free-flowing, casual playlist, but I have someone on the enemy team using Not Forgotten and Dust Rock basically every single game. I would say I have one of three players on the enemy team using that loadout in 90% of my matches. And that's just on the enemy team. I don't even really know what's on my team, but the enemy team, there's always someone. And it's just genuinely not fun to play against. It just drains the fun away from you when you die to the same thing over and over again. And it's been not forgotten in Dust Rock Blues for over a year. And that's obviously the most tryhard thing, but there's still people using just very meta weapons as well, like throwing a rental and bygones in there and stuff. And those can get aggravating as well. But what it creates is an environment that is just very repetitive. When you're dying to the same things over and over again, it gets frustrating and it just feels like you're never experiencing anything new. Which is something that Destiny should certainly not have a problem with. There are so many different weapons in this game, and there's many different ways to play with the subclass builds and different exotics. There's just about endless combinations to how you can play the game and just change up your playstyle. But most people decide to play just about only one way, 
which hurts everyone because it makes the experience more repetitive and it makes a lot of people have to stoop to their level and start using more try-hard weapons so they can actually compete and not get steamrolled. And it just kind of creates this vicious cycle where one person starts trying really hard and everyone has to kind of match them if they don't want to get pummeled. And so what's my main point here? It's just to urge people to try to have some fun and use new things and don't stay in the same routine using the same thing over and over again because you will enjoy trying new things and getting new experiences at least most people will maybe some people that are a little lower in openness and like routines a bit more won't but the vast majority of people i feel like if you switch things up a bit you're gonna enjoy things a lot more that being said there is a little bit of an argument for using the same thing over and over again and that is if you're just trying to get super good with one loadout and you want to be competitively dominant. However, if that's the case, then the classic mixed playlist is not where you belong. You should be in the competitive playlist for both practicing to get better in competitive environments and to actually compete and be in challenging environments where things aren't just a cakewalk for you. There are outlets to be competitive and be trying your hardest. That's an okay thing to do but just do it in the right environment in the competitive playlist. It's not too difficult of a concept. And now to cap this video off a little bit, I'm gonna talk about skill-based versus connection-based matchmaking. And I think that all of the playlists except for the competitive playlist should be switched to connection-based matchmaking. I think this will give people a lot more options for finding a fun environment and one where they don't have to be using the best weapons all the time. And Destiny does not really have a true competitive environment right now or one that is taken very seriously to the point where there's like professional gaming around it. And so Destiny is really more of a casual game, so it should be treated as such. Because it's really kind of built for that. It's built for trying new things, for using a bunch of different stuff, looking for new builds, and experimenting. And a connection-based environment is the best one to do this. Because you'll be playing against a variety of opponents. You'll be going up against people that are better than you, worse than you, and about the same skill level. So that will give you games where you can feel dominant and actually really enjoy yourself doing well against others. It will also give you some games where people are going to be better than you, which will give you some learning lessons and help you improve at the game, which is another crucial part. That's something that can be not the greatest about skill-based matchmaking is that if you're always going up against people that are around your skill level, you don't get those games where you can feel incredible and have really awesome, spectacular games that are out of the ordinary. And you also don't get to see that many people that are way better than you that you can actually pick up things from. And that's kind of the view of skill-based matchmaking from most people's standpoints, kind of from the average player's point of view. But then there's skill-based matchmaking from the high-skill point of view. And this is where things get genuinely dreadful if you try to do anything out of the ordinary. And this is kind of where I'm at. This is going to be the part of the video where it sounds like I'm trying to brag and I'm really not. I'm just trying to be honest and express genuinely how I feel about these issues. Because I'm a fairly high skilled player. I mean I've got 183 gold medals which has got to be top 1%. I rarely, rarely see people that have more than that. My KD is in the mid twos, which is pretty high as well. It's not spectacular because I play so fast and aggressive, it could definitely be higher, but that's what I'm at. But those are pretty impressive stats and they're really quite high tier. So when I go into skill-based matchmaking, that means that they're going to be picking players about my skill level, which means I'm going up against very high skill players. And people that reach the statistics that I have generally reach them by trying their hardest and using the really sweaty things and powerful weapons that are in the game. People with my stats typically don't play as casually and loosely as I do. So when I get matched up with people with generally my statistics, I'm going up against very try-hard people. And I am very rarely using the typical sweat loadout unless I'm doing like a searching for 60 video where I'm trying to get 60 kills in a game because it's just not how I enjoy playing and I find it too repetitive to continue doing that. I'm always trying to use something different in just about every video I make. So trying to go into a skill-based matchmaking environment and trying to use new things is just going to be kind of disastrous for me, as I won't be able to do the same things that I do against just normal players or players of varying skill level. Because what I do and what I find enjoyable is going for clips, trying to get many kills in a very quick period of time, because I find it exciting and entertaining gameplay to watch. And also for me to pull off, I just like to try to do cool things and see if I can do them. 
But in skill-based matchmaking environments, you just can't outplay four or five people in a row very often. And so it makes the video making process take a lot longer for me if I'm going in skill-based matchmaking environments. And overall, the experience is a lot less enjoyable. So that's why I think all these playlists should be opened up to connection-based matchmaking. And then competitive should really be the environment where you go when you want to go up against people that are of your skill level. That makes way more sense to me. Because having just this one area where people can go to have connection-based matchmaking and try to have some fun is just disastrous because of how people are treating the game. And yeah, that's my general thought on how we can kind of remedy this situation. And so yeah, that's some of the reason why I'm having a little less fun in Crucible right now. There's definitely problems with the game as well, but these are just kind of some broad, persistent reasons as well, so I thought I would mention them. I hope you enjoyed listening to this rant. Thank you for watching, and see you later. No, we were doing so well there.